Hi everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today we are going to discuss about AWS Security Hub. So let's get into the video. AWS Security Hub. Now as you all know, for security purpose, we have several services like Inspector, Guard Duty, Messy. So there are several services with respect to infrastructure protection, data protection, encryption. There are a lot of services which are involved with respect to the security. Right now, uh, what will happen is uh, it is difficult to go to each of the individual dashboard and see what is the inspectors finding? What is the guard duty finding? What is the messy finding? So it it, it it takes certain time and it is a time consuming where you'll have to and also it will become, you know, a little bit more complex to jump onto each of the dashboard and analyze the security posture. So that is where uh, AWS provides your next service that is called AWS Security Up. It gives you a comprehensive view of your high priority security alerts and compliance status across your AWS account. Now, as you all know, with respect to the compliance, we need to go to the service like AWS Config and identify it. So with respect to certain security rules, we'll have to go to the inspector or a guard duty and analyze it. So this particular security up, as you can see, it is gonna it is gonna give you a comprehensive view of your high priority, whatever the high priority, because all the security threats might not be higher priority for you because for some of the security threats you might be already taken an action right now having said that uh, we would need a comprehensive view of high priority security alert and compliance status across your AWS account right across your AWS account if you want to uh, have a comprehensive view of it that is where AWS security hub comes into picture it gives you a centralized security alerts once place to manage and aggregate it is a one place to manage and aggregate the findings and alerts and alert the findings and alert from a key aws security services right it also alerts the finding and alerts from the key aws services so it will help you to give you a one place to manage and aggregate the findings and also provide the alerts about all the details so it also provides an automated check like built-in check for pci dss or a ci cis so these are the data integrity and data security compliances with the general compliance which all the company uses so automated checks built-in checks are used for pci dss and cis cis and ongoing security audit so automated ongoing security audit for your AWS security. So it gives you an on ongoing security audit where so with respect to security purpose the auditing will keep on happening uh, and uh, it is an ongoing security audit which will be running in your AWS account now as you can see in the diagram so all the details from these three services like the findings of guard duty findings of inspector findings of AWS Massey everything will be uh, you know uh, you know centralized in a security app and it will give you a visualization dashboard where you can just view it and understand okay how many of your resources are in compliance is there any security threat how many of your resources you need to take an action everything is in green or in a blue or in a red so that kind of information will be given in the security app to so what what all services you can integrate security up to so as per the previous document is not only just three services as you can see it can be integrated to guard duty messy inspector it is also can be integrated to iam access analyzer firewall manager that is your aws waf firewall manager and if you want to if you want to have a third party security tools and you want to integrate that and you also you want to have view the visualize the data of that particular tool so you can use it you can use the third party tools as well and all of this the data will flow through security app and then it'll, it'll and then and then the data will be uh, moved on to the cloud watch if you want and from the cloud watch as you know you can set up a notification chat option trigger a lambda or take an SEI action right so here you can use an alarm and identify and identify the particular event and take an action accordingly so security hub also has the ability to generate its own findings by running automated and continuous checks against the rules in a set of a supported security standards right it has certain uh, security standards as well if you enable security hub so it also has its own apart from receiving all the data from all of those integrated AWS security services it also has its own uh, supported security standards that is your uh, CIS AWS foundation and PSI PCI DSS. So against this it is going to automatically and continuously check against these rules and uh, uh, give you the findings based on it as you can see it'll, uh, in this diagram as you can see 46% of security score here as you can see CIS AWS foundation benchmark uh, many of them are passed so many of them are failed and what is the score. And PCI DS DSS, how many of them are passed, how many of them have failed, and what is the what is the cost on it? It also does an automated check against these standards. 
So security app here if you search for security we get a service called AWS security app and this is how the AWS security app uh, uh, Looks like and as you can see it can help you to manage and improve your security posture, right? Uh, it provides you a 30 days free trial uh, You can try out the free trial with a security app run automated security checks across your AWS environment And you also prioritize and remediate your security issue It also gives you a consolidated security findings from AWS and partner products in the standard format across all your accounts So it gives an automated security checks at the same time, it will help you to achieve a consolidated prioritized uh, security findings. If you click on go to security app, so here uh, you can enable through the uh, uh, enable AWS config if you want to. And what are the security standards checks it has to take care? So as you can see, so uh, AWS Foundation Security Best Practices version 1.0. CIS AWS Foundation Benchmark 1.2 and enable PCI DSS uh, version 3.2.1. So if you enable, or if you enable these security standards, it is going to check your check the data from your AWS account, and uh, it'll help you to uh, it'll help you to get the security stand the security standard check, and it'll help you to identify which of the resources are not as per this particular security standards or benchmark or best practices, and it'll give you the result. So you can enable uh, enabling the security app will grant the permission to import findings from all the AWS services. So by default, everything is enabled. So for example, let's say if I have enabled guard duty, inspector, Massey, uh, WAF, firewall manager in my account, and then if I enable security app, all of them will get integrated automatically. If I have not enabled any one of them, and then if I enable security app, then uh, you will have to go ahead and enable that service also. Then only the data will come to security app. So which means that if you are if you have enabled the service automatically it will get integrated to security app if you are not enabled it will not be integrated you will have to do it you will have to enable and manually configure it so you just need to enable the service the service the individual security services the individual aws security services has to be enabled in the back end so when you click on enable security hub so as you can see it will uh, it will take some time uh, it takes as you can see it takes up to 2 hours to see the result because it has to it has to consolidate the data from the various services uh, until then the control will have uh, uh, will have a status of no data and it also supports AWS organization so it is basically for a multi account if you have a multiple multiple account to integrate and to have a centralized dashboard it will also help in that way and it'll also you can also manage all of your findings in a, from a single region as well if you want to do a single region findings as well so as you can see uh, all the three best practices are checked and what is passed how many are failed how many of their what is the score it will show you and resources with the most failed security check according to this it will show you here and there which of them are finding by region so uh, findings from all linked regions are visible and uh, from the aggregation region as you can see this is the current region is us east north virginia it is going to give you the details about that particular region and say which of them are critical high medium and low so uh, so you can also see the insights and also you can see the severity s3 bucket finding ec2 instance with the most findings so here we'll we'll see which of the services are having most findings most uh, uh, you know vulnerability so all of this will be identified here iams with the most finding accounts with the most finding uh, latest finding from aws integration so all of this uh, all of this will be enabled if, if there is any finding from inspector or a guard duty as you can see here all of these services are integrated already so guard duty inspector messy aws health i am access analyzer system patch manager firewall manager all of them are already integrated to the uh, aws config all of them are integrated to the security app service now as you can see here those if there is any finding from the individual services that will be listed out here so in order to generate certain data it will take minimum up to two hours so uh, this is how you enable the security hub so as i said security hub is a collection is a uh, collection integration of all the aws services so here if you see these security services like guard duty inspector messy health access analyzer system manager firewall manager so whatever the findings in each of the individual services are finds out it is going to aggregate all of them in a single dashboard so that is what security app is going to do now analyzing the cloud trail logs all of that these services individually do it so guard duty inspector they individually anyway analyze and give you the findings the finding of these services are aggregated in a security app so this is basically like a centralized dashboard for you because as you know up to uh, around 8 to 10 security services are there for AWS for different reasons and different criteria. Now it becomes very difficult to go ahead and identify uh, where is the finding, which service and you'll have to switch to the several dashboard. I mean, not to avoid that, uh, the security app is there. 
which will give you a centralized uh, uh, information from all the security services which are listed here and also and also it has been uh, you can also integrate if your third party any of your security monitoring tool your your enabled and you want to send those logs to the security manager you can do that as well and in addition to that it also does a certain uh, criteria check so based on the security standards it also checks the PCI DSS compliance and uh, benchmark compliance and security best practices from the AWS side. And if any of your services, for example, let's say in EC2, you have 100 servers. In 100 servers, there are 20 servers which are not meeting the compliance. So it will identify that these are the 20 servers which are not meeting the compliance. At the same time, it will also give you a graphical representation of in each of the services, how many resources, right? How many resources are in compliance or not in compliance? And then it will give you the details of it. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts that were discussed or if you want to have a deeper dive, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on AWS Security Speciality Certification and Demo. And under this free class, we will be discussing about Cloud for Security Professionals, what and why, different services in AWS Cloud Security, Demo, 25 plus hands-on labs, and what not so if you want to attend this class then let me just show you a brief demo all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash aws sec02 and you'll be seeing this kind of interface where you have to just click on book your free seat now and select an event date enter your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of interface where you see this link on the extreme right. Just save that link, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in this free class. Till then, keep learning.